Hi friends! Today we will be learning some more divisibility rules. So let's start. We will start with learning how to find whether a number is divisible by 9. So let's start. In order to find out whether a number is divisible by 9, we need to have a very interesting and simple rule. If the sum of digits of a number is divisible by 9, the number is divisible by 9. Let's learn with an example. First number is 81. Let's find out the sum of digits. Sum of digits is 8 plus 1 equals 9. Now, 9 is divisible by 9. Yes, 9 is divisible by 9. Next number is 54. The sum of digits is 5 plus 4 equals 9. Is 9 divisible by 9? Yes, 9 is divisible by 9. So 54 is divisible by 9. Next is 35. Sum of digits is 3 plus 5 equals 8. Is 8 divisible by 9? No, 8 is not divisible by 9. So 35 is not divisible by 9. Next number is 90. Sum of digits is 9 plus 0 equals 9. Is 9 divisible by 9? Yes, it is divisible by 9. So 90 is also divisible by 9. You can always check your answer too. 204. Is it divisible by 9? Find out the sum of digits. Sum of digits is 2 plus 0 plus 4 equals 6. 6 is not divisible by 9, so 204 is not divisible by 9. Next number is 333. Sum of digits is 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 9, so it is divisible by 9. You can check your answer. Now let's take out your calculator and check the answer. 333 divided by 9. We get the answer 37. So yes, it is divisible by 9. Our rule works. Next is 36. Sum of digits is 3 plus 6 equals 9. 9 is divisible by 9. So this number is divisible by 9. Here we have our next number. It is 39. Sum of digits is 3 plus 9 equals 12. So is 12 divisible by 9? No, 12 is not divisible by 9. So 39 is not divisible by 9. Next number is 173. Is it divisible by 9? Let's check. Sum of digits is 1 plus 7 plus 3. It is 11. 11 is not divisible by 9. So 173 is not divisible by 9. Next number is 171. Sum of digits is 1 plus 7 plus 1 equals 9. 9 is divisible by 9. So 171 is divisible by 9. Next number is 6,939. Let's sum up the digits. 6 plus 9 plus 3 equals 9. This comes out to be 27. 27 is divisible by 9. So this number is divisible by 9. Let's check with our calculator. 6,939 divided by 9 comes out to be 771. So yes, this number is divisible by 9. The rule works. So friends, we have learned the divisibility rule for number 9, and it was interesting. We just had to sum up the digits, and if the sum of digits is divisible by 9, the number is divisible by 9. Let's move forward. We will now learn whether or not a number is divisible by 10. And it is very simple. Any number that ends in 0 is divisible by 10. Here we have some numbers. Let's do this. 10 divisible by 10. 9, no. 20, yes, it ends with 0. 33, no, because the last digit or ones place digit is 3. 104, no, because the ones place digit is 4. 1000, yes, it is divisible by 10. 10,000. Yes, it is divisible by 10. The ones place digit is 0. 1,004. No, it is not divisible by 10. 780. Yes, it is divisible by 10. Ones place digit is 0. 
789. No, it is not divisible by 10. 612. No, it is not divisible by 10. The one's digit place is 2. Therefore, it is fairly easy to check whether or not a number is divisible by 10. Let's move on to the next. The next number is 11. We need to check whether or not a number is divisible by 11. It is not so easy. Let's start. Here we have a number. It is 1586. And we need to find whether or not it is divisible by 11. From the right, mark the position of the digit. 6 is in the first place. 8 is in the second place. 5 is in the third place. And 1 is in the fourth place. So we have to find the difference between the sum of digits at the odd places and the sum of digits at the even places. Sum of digits at the odd places is 6 plus 5 equals 11. And sum of digits at the even places is 1 plus 8 equals 9. The difference will be 11 minus 9 equals 2. And according to the rule, if this difference comes out to be 0, or a number divisible by 11, then the number is divisible by 11. I repeat. If you have a number and you have to find out whether or not it is divisible by 11, mark the position on the number from the right as 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And you have to sum up the digits at the odd places. And you have to sum up the digits in the even places. And then you have to subtract the sum of digits at the even places from the sum of digits at the odd places. And if the difference comes out to be 0 or a number divisible by 11, then the number is divisible by 11. So in this example, the difference is coming to be 2, which is not divisible by 11. So this number is not divisible by 11. You can use your calculator to check. Here we have another number. 6,259. We have to check whether or not it is divisible by 11. Mark the position from the right. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now sum of the digits at the odd places. 9 plus 2 equals 11. Now sum of the digits in the even places. 6 plus 5 equals 11. 11 minus 11 equals 0. So we have the answer. According to the rule, if the difference comes out to be 0 or a number divisible by 11, the number is divisible by 11. So this number should be divisible by 11. Use your calculator to check. Let's check. 6,259 divided by 11 comes out to be 569. So yes, it is divisible by 11. Here we have another number. 13,596. First, let's mark the positions from the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now sum of the digits at the odd places. Digits are the first, third, and fifth place. It is 6 plus 5 plus 1 equals 12. Now sum of the digits in the even place, the second and fourth position. It is 9 plus 3 equals 12. The difference will be 12 minus 12 equals 0. Our rule says if the difference comes out to be 0 or a number divisible by 11, the number is divisible by 11. So this number should be divisible by 11. Let's check. 13,596 divided by 11 is 1,236. So yes, it is divisible by 11. Let's have another example. 175,857. We had to check whether it is divisible by 11. First, mark the positions of the digits from the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We have 6 numbers. Now sum of the digits in the odd places. Odd places are the 1st, 3rd, and 5th position. 7 plus 8 plus 7 is 22. Now let's find the sum of digits in the even places. And the even places are 2 and 4 and 6. 5 plus 5 plus 1 equals 11. The difference is 11, and yes, this is divisible by 11. 11 divided by 11 is 1. So this number should be divisible by 11. 
Use your calculator to check. 175,857 divided by 11 comes out to be 15,987. So yes, the rule works very well. So friends, we have learned a lot of divisibility rules. 